Major Arcana. Four major arcana to show up in the spread. So we have Gemini and Libra. A little bit of Earth sign energy as, as well with Virgo there. So a very powerful uh, individual. They're very honest as well. This person may be into poetry. Aries the Fool and the Wheel of Fortune showing up. Right? This person isn't ready to go after what their hearts desire, right? If the universe has something for this person, this person tends to follow, you know, those signs, right? Leading them to some sort of a prosperity. This person likes adventures and trying new things. They think blessings comes with such things, right? Empress energy and the moon card showing up underneath the deck with the world. Yeah. Yeah, very emotional indiv individual. A lot of feminine energy here. Again, this person's possibly an empress. Could even be a male empress as well. Receptive energy, right? Men don't really <laughs> reveal their feelings too much. I mean, this could be the hidden energy with the moon, but if it's a feminine, oh, she's about to let you know what those feelings are. <laughs> yep, four of wands. <laughs> yeah. It could be spiritual protection around this relationship. As a matter of fact, it would be, right? Two spiritual beings and a, a true connection like this, Wheel of Fortune. The universe is working to bring you guys together or to give, give you guys wish fulfillment. Yeah, this is you two. You guys right here, the King and Queen of Swords. The King and Queen of Air. Intellectual conversations, right? Very intuitive. Writers, directors, authors, teachers. Mm. We got the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands. They have a lot of passion towards you. A lot of page activity. Again, they could be younger than you. They already have children, or maybe you have children. This person wants to have children with you. Two pages, the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. They want to know what your type is. Mm -hmm. The Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands. I think they already know what your type is. <laughs> They're going to come cosplaying, dressing up as your type. No, they're your person, so they give you what you want, basically. <laughs> the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, the love and the passion, new beginnings. Yeah. A lot of inspirational and motivational energy, a lot of love here. And where do we go? Where do we go? Three of Cups and Three of Wands, indicative of them wanting to close the gap in this. If you guys are, um, is there a distance in this relationship? They want to get closer to you. They're waiting on their shifts to come in. It could be waiting on something in specific, right? Divine timing to come towards you with the Wheel of Fortune. They may have to wait. Mm. They like, wait. Waiting time is over with. Yeah. Uh, yeah they're, they're very picky, very emotionally meditative. Yeah, they're they're done with this, <laughs> fighting their emotions. They they don't want to fight their emotions anymore. They just want to come towards you, and initiate some sort of a startup with you, a relationship, connection with you. Mm. Seven. Yeah, they've been hiding something. They're sick of tiptoeing around this relationship. <laughs> Your person's like, enough is enough. <laughs> it's time for a change. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles, yeah, the hard work. They like I've been putting in the hard work spirit. <laughs> the spirit's like, just when you was about to get ready to give up, here's your person. Uh, let's see, nines, yeah, three nines and three tens, yeah. They're they're about to get ready to close out some sort of a karmic cycle to reach some sort of a completion. Nine of Pentacles, they're very abundant, or they're about to get ready to reach some harvest. Nine of Swords, they have this, they're dealing with anxiety or something like that. It could be nervous uh, excitement. Nine of Cups. Like they may know that it, or they could possibly feel that this union is about to get ready to um, approach them. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Yeah, it's like nervous excitement. They've been preparing for this. I've been waiting my whole life. <laughs> Ten of Swords. 
the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Yeah. Hard work pays off, whether it's a spiritual awakening or some sort of a self-improvement, right? The Ten of Swords, overanalyzing, overthinking, distractions, right? Even here, taking on burdens or responsibilities of others, right? Mm-hmm. A lot to carry on one's shoulders in order to obtain this Ten of Pentacles, right? This happy family card, this abundance, this generational wealth and success. You guys are going to be unlocking your kingdom inheritance with each other, right? Of course, you guys are already going to have your own thing going on. But you guys are going to come together, pause, and create something even bigger than any of what you guys could have thought you could have built separately, right? Yeah. The king of queen of swords here, they're a master of ideas, the magician, the wheel of fortune. Yeah. You guys are meant to be together, the four of wands, justice card. It's a marriage. Yeah. There's a lot of light between you guys as well. You guys may be like motivational speakers or have powerful speaking or voices or powerful writing. Like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Empress, very abundant. The Six of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they wanted to have this victory with you, wanting to build this life with you, expansion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's what I have for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like the video and subscribe to the channel so that we can continue to grow. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.